Hi everybody, welcome to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Um, I should say welcome back if you're a um, subscriber to my channel. And if you're first time to um, my channel, welcome and thanks for um, watching along. Today, uh, I've been spending a lot of time in my gardens and planting and mowing and fertilizing. Um, so today I thought I would work on my garden journal a little bit. This I made last year and of course it's not, it's not completed. Um, I work in it as I go uh, because I figure a gardening journal, you really can't complete start to finish because it's a, it is a work in progress year to year. So, um, even though it's a gardening journal, I do use, I have so many uh, patterns. I do use my patterns for, um, to separate the signatures. And the whole premise with the patterns that I chose for this book um, are just all the springtime, light, summer, fun um, outfits that one would wear during the summer months, the, the cute little dresses. Um, this has a cute little um, vine or leaf print on it. And then this last one here, um, the gal with the picnic basket on the, the farm, because heaven knows that there's a lot of work to do on, on the farm um, during the summer months. So Again, uh, this book I, I put together with a lot of floral um, images. There hasn't been a lot of writing in it as of yet. Um, I'm just trying to get some of the ephemera that I have put in here. I have made these cute little um, flowers four tags to write on and a cute little pocket here to hold them. So I figured that last year I didn't do a lot in my garden. Um, and what I did do, I can, it's no problem to get caught up in it, but I just kind of wanted to show you what this you know, how I put this together and the papers. This is a really cute greeting card, the papers that I chose for it. And there is a lot of room to write. When I create a journal, I do like to have a lot of um, plain pages that I can write on. This is a pocket here with a, a nice tag in it. So there are plenty of little nooks and crannies. Put some vellum in here, but I think it's quite. I think it's quite pretty. Um, so today, because I have been doing a lot of planting, um, I did. I made this last year, <clears throat> and this was a day lily that I purchased and this is what I want to make today um, with everyone because I think it's important to hang on to your um, your tags or the flower identification cards when you make your purchase. I have a tendency um, to forget where I've planted different flowers. I have a very large property. Um, the flowers that I want to see and enjoy, I plant closer to the house in the flower beds. A lot of day lilies I will plant towards my wood line and I have a very large mulched area when you drive in. We set 450 feet back from the road and there's a lot of ferns. I tried to keep it natural. So I will plant the day lilies, ferns, um, my paper white tall flocks, you know, up there. So I want to make um, some pockets that I can, I can put these in. I don't have to put, I'm not going to put all of them in. I'm only going to put one, but 
I hang on to these that way. I always keep my receipts as well, but if I can't find my receipt, I know how many of a certain plant I did purchase, so I can keep track of that as well. So for me, I think the easiest way um, for these alone is to use my library card pockets. And I think, because these will fit quite nicely in here, I'll cut these down, but you can see they fit in here really nice. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll cut these down. I'll decide which ones I want to use. And then these come in really handy because you can put the date that you made your purchase, the date you planted them, um, you know, when I fertilize them, you know, and what I fertilize them with. So I think these cards will be really cute um, also to put tuck in with the identification cards. So we're just going to be decorating these today and cutting these down to fit. Uh, I also ran off some flower garden sayings from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. And these are digital downloads that you can purchase on her, her um, Etsy shop. And there's a lot of cute sayings. I, there's actually three pages. I printed out page two and three. Um, because I think these will work well with what I want to do today. So we have those to work with. And then I have this Ward's um, catalog that I dug out. I've been working with this a little bit more. And we'll use pages um, in here to de decorate the front of the library cards. So we have that. We'll work with that. And then um, to embellish the front, I have some cute little uh, garden pictures here and little tags. And then I haven't used a lot of my German, my little German stickers. Um, so I dug some of these out and I thought these would be really cute to embellish the pockets. I have little, um, little garden fairies here. And then I have these really pretty um, garden gals here. They look like they're, these are all little um, bleeding hearts here. And then I have, some of these are a little fallish because they have, oh no, that's a beetle, but they have the acorn. Um, but you have some bees with some roses. So I thought those were pretty. And then um, I have these here and then some butterflies. And then the little Holland, the little children from Holland. So, yeah, so I think we'll work with these today. So we'll get started. Um, so I'm going to set these aside. And we'll get a couple. And I have nothing on my table today. I did order a new mat. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that, but I had to get rid of that other blue, that other blue mat I was working on because it was just getting sticky and I didn't like it. So I just have my bare table today. All right, so we'll set these aside. First, I want to, and the reason this paper is on here, I don't peel it off. These are self-adhesive, um, so they can stick right on your paper. So that's why we have this um, extra paper on there. So I want to find a background to put on these. And I got this really nice um, book from Rebecca at uh, Becca's Books. Becca's, I think it's Becca's Bookshop. I don't even, I don't, sorry, Becca, I don't remember. Um, her shop and I buy from her all the time. I get all my books from Becca and I'll put her, her Instagram page in the description so you can check her out as well. But she has really nice books. So I'm not going to use any flowers. And I want to make sure that if I use 
um, the printed that there are no flowers on the back side. I like this with the gardening tools. That might be kind of fun. I'm going to carefully, and these pages are very brittle because it's because it's so old. This is 1960. Oh, let's see here. So this is a this is a green. This is more of a brown. I love to look at all the prices. Everything was so inexpensive. Look at the hand tools. Um, 18, the transplanter. 95 cents. Here you have a six inch blade trowel. 95 cents. Unbelievable. And I think I will use, oh, the trellises might be kind of fun. Yeah, I'm going to use this here because I don't really care about the nuts on the other side. I'm going to get my X-Acto knife here because this is going to rip into the other, other page. And I don't want to do that. All right, I think we can get a few, a few out of that. It's hot here today. I feel, I feel a little dehydrated. I didn't um, take a drink out with me. I wasn't going to be outside that long. Um, but let me just measure these. I'm going to write down the. The measurement so then I can talk. All right, so we're a little less than three and a half by three and a half. All right, I'll. Um, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. My little. My little Carl was misbehaving. Um, I went out just to feed my plants today with miracle Grow, And uh, one thing led to another, which for me it always does when I head outside to do anything in the yard. Um... want to see something here all right three and three quarter and then I ended up transplanting I have a lot of I don't know how they got down I don't know they how they got down below in a much lower section of my yard um, my bearded iris ended up way down below in another section. So I went and I dug them up. All right, so this is just, I'm cutting these a little bit bigger. I wanna see what's the width. This is seven and a half. Um, yeah. so I went down to, I'm just going to even this up. I went down and dug them up and, and brought them up where I can actually enjoy them. So, 
so I spent a little more time. Let me get my smaller one out. I spent a little more time out there, and it was getting hot. Um, I had to come in, and I wanted to, I had to turn the air conditioning on. I was really trying not to. Um, yeah, but I can't open the windows because the pollen is so, I think this is three and a half. Or just between three. I'm just taking little, a little bit off as I go. Um, the pollen is so bad, I can't. There's no way we can open the windows. So just a little bit here. All right, so that one is good. That's about another quarter of an inch. So I thought I would make this, and then I'm actually headed out. Um... to do some grocery shopping. And I have to stop, of course, at the garden center because there's a couple, there's a couple hoses I want to get that I like that I want to get and a little bit on, a little bit more on the side. And now I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Okay, so there are two we'll do. Let's see, we'll get these cut as well. This one I think I cut a little. That's all right, though. Because it's a little taller or it's a little less I want to cut a little less off the side because I want it kind of to match I know this is tedious I probably should have done this um, beforehand some things I just don't like doing during a video I think this is good here. Okay. All right. So we have those. All right. And because these are, I didn't do any with the, I have more to do, but I will do, I'll do some with the uh, green at another time. And maybe we'll just do something totally different with those. Um, so I want to jazz up my, I want to jazz up the envelopes a little bit. But everything is growing. Everything is growing so fast. I feel like I just mowed um, the other day, and I have to I have to mow again. But that's all right. I actually like I have a riding lawnmower, and I actually like hopping on it. Um, I listen to my music. I'm into Tammy Nielsen uh, right now. I'll put my playlist as well in my description. Um, 
She's kind of retro country. She's Australian, and I found out about her through a show that I watch on um, Acorn TV, which is all British TV. It's, it's British, Australian. Um, they have shows filmed in New Zealand, and I really... I really like it. Um, so I watch a show called Broken Wood. Um, and it's a detective show. And it's set in New Zealand. And it's about this really cool detective who, um, you know, drives a car, I think, like from the 1960s modern day but he's he's a little retro himself and um I'll do these a little bit but I you want to be careful when using old paper this is very fragile and I don't want it to really rip so he's big on uh listening to country western he, he has an old cassette player in his car. Um, and I really liked the music. So at the end of the show, I had to see who the singers were. And there's two. Tammy Nielsen is one, and she's, she's just fabulous. And the other one is um, Delaney Davidson. Davidson or Davison? Um, he's really good too. So the other day when I was gardening, I, I was listening to them and it just makes a very pleasant experience. So, all right. So on these here, I can't use, I'm going to use my glue. Um, if you're used to using tape, um, I wouldn't advise on any old, very old, vintage, frail um, paper. I wouldn't use it um, because this, this can tear very, very easily, and you don't want that. I really don't know. I've been thinking as I've been sitting here chewing the fat with y'all, um, trying to think how I want to decorate the front, and I really don't know. I may pull out a few other items. And I'm really hoping that this doesn't... I'm going to have to check my recording every now and then. I didn't delete my last two recordings and I'm using an, my, an older phone and um, sometimes it'll just quit after 20 minutes. So I'm going to have to pop my head up and check that as well. And if you hear my buzzers and bells and whistles and I didn't mute anything, um, so hopefully, hopefully it won't be too annoying. Okay, so that's three. And yesterday I have, I'm, I'm doing a series as well. Um, I haven't, I've only published on my, um, I don't even know if it's, it's up. I think it's, yeah, it's not ready. It's not coming on, I think, until this week. Today, today is Wednesday, the 19th. Um, I've been working on a new journal that I'm actually making for my girlfriend 
um, I've been working on it. It's for her last Christmas and this birthday. Um, but I sewed all day on that. I sewed the front cover Sunday it, or Saturday. I spent the day. It's a patchwork quilt style cover. Um, and I spent yesterday sewing, I don't know how many papers with lace and in the signatures. There's six signatures. I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but my back ached so bad last night from um, hovering over that sewing machine of mine. Um, crafting can be quite brutal on the body. <laughs> I just want to see what some of these look like. Now that's cute. I, the The journal that I'm working on is a Lazy Daisy um, journal. So I'm going to, this is a daisy garden. I'm going to set that aside for that journal. These are little birthday greetings. I don't really want to, I don't know if I want to cover all these up like that. These are quite cute though. I do like those. Uh, this one's a little too. I could cut this down. I could take that off. Sunrise seeds. All right, that's a possibility. Um, let me see what else is in here. I think these are just a little bit bigger. So I won't use those. I don't know if I want to use these, though. I don't want these covered up um, that much. So I'm going to set these aside. And I still, I still want to use these. I just don't know if I, let me get my little, my little bag here out with goodies. I don't need any sayings because I'm going to be using the sayings from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. These I might use and add. These are stamps that I got and I stamped and cut all of these out, which are cute. So that's a possibility. I have these little goodies here. These might work. I'll take those out. I have these. I'm just going to take all of these out because these may fit the bill. These are all a little gardening style. So let's see what we have here. Maybe we can make a little, little production line. Maybe I can do these in like a monotone, very monotone style. Let's see here. These all are from Artie Mays. Um, these are her digital downloads. Oh, let's see. This is cute. I got that. I want to put something on the back side of that um, so it pops out. And we have that one.
Derby Plants and Seeds, Botanical, there's some more flowers. What did I do with those other? Oh, they're right here. Um, yeah, let's, maybe I'll work with these here. And then the butterflies. I do like these. And like I said, um, I'd like to offset them so they kind of pop. These might be a little too big. Um, I don't want all of that covered up. Okay, we have this size here. And then we do have, I do want to get, I'm going to cut some of these out. Um, and I'm just going to cut them with the, with my scissors. Um, let's see. Down the garden path. How about I'm going to take these here. We'll start with these. How does your garden grow? I usually do these on... Um, on my cutter, my paper cutter. Um, because I'm a stickler for straight lines, but I'm challenging myself today to just use my scissors. That's cute. And um, got small potatoes. Let's see what's in this one. How about garden variety or green thumb? We can do green thumb. We will do green thumb. All of a sudden, I feel very relaxed, and isn't that the way? You go, 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 and then the minute you sit down, you're done. But I can't be done, because <laughs> I have, um, I've got shopping to do. All right, so I think... I'm going to bring these back over. We'll just kind of play. We will just kind of play. Maybe we can get our little round. As much as I like these, I think they're too, um, they blend in too much. And I think I need something a little brighter. I do like that little splash of red. And I almost like, I did these in uh as you can see, the cream color 
um, stamping. And then the the darker botanical. Let's see here. I may round these um, just to soften these a little bit. a little bit better rounded That's kind of cute. Just wondering if I want it like this. I like that. And then having small, small butterflies. And again, it, you don't have to um, I don't think they have to be overdone because uh, you know, you want the and I want the cute little saying to stand out and I just want um Just a little decor on the front. Let's see, let's see, I think I need, you have to have a red or, um, you know, a bright. A bright color um, because of the background. I really don't want to cover up that trellis. Move this over here a little bit. I do like the red because I think it just brings it all together. So, we have that. And we have this one. And these stamps, um, I'm not sure if I got these from red lead paper or if I got them from, I said Alibaba, Ali, is it Alibaba? I forget. Um, but I do like these. I know a lot of people sell these online. Um, but if you can, you know, buy the stamps and then use them yourself, the, you know, possibilities are endless. I like that. It just adds a little, a little zip. Oh, let's 
see here. I'm almost out of like that. I'm almost out of the um, using all of these, so I'm going to have to run some more sheets off, and then I can sit at night and cut. And I don't know about you, but if I find a digital that I like, I just keep using it over and over. I mean, that's why you buy it, right? To use it. Um, how does your garden grow? We're going to use that. How does your garden grow? So, yeah, I'm excited about my mat coming in. It looks like a, it's different shades of um, rustic blues. And um, it looks like barn board, but it's really pretty blues. And I think the opposite side, um, the underside, you can, I think it flips. So I'll, I can change it up. So I think that's, is that the one I want to use? I don't know. I kind of like this blue. Put that there like that. All right. So I'm going to move all of these to the side. I'll take care of these later. And I'll have to show you, um, I use these stamps in a Dick and Jane, um, Dick, Jane, and Sally book, and they came out really cute. Um, and I cut them out. Oh, this one I did not... We're going to change this one out because I wanted to use I wanted to use all of Mrs. Cog. So we will change this botanical one out. There we go. April showers. And we'll, we'll end up doing that. Okay, we can glue these down now. All right. And I'm going to put a little dab of glue on here and get this set. Right there like that. I'm going to tuck this behind. When I have layers, I try to work um, from the bottom up. It's just easier for me. Um, everybody has their own way of gluing their items down. There we go. And I'll put these in the book as well. And then that way you can see um, what they look like in, in the book. We'll find a little spot to tuck them in.
I'll find a little spot. I'll put that. I'm going to cover that right up there, right there, because I want that matching steel borders and trellis. I want that to show. This one I'm going to jazz up just a little bit so it's not so white. So I've decided that I'm going to try to go back and have my weekends um, be just that, my weekends, and get caught up on projects, um, not necessarily in the, around the house, but in my, my craft room. Um, let's, let me just look here before I, yeah. Um, last weekend, it was really nice because I worked on the Lazy Daisy Journal on Saturday. I was so busy during the week. Um, that I really didn't have time to craft. I did a couple quick videos, but I really didn't have time to sit down and, and craft. Um, And my husband sat on the back porch and read. He's reading a, a book right now about Winston Churchill. And it's written by Eric Lawson. And he's one of my husband's favorite authors. He wrote um, Devil in the White City um, about the, I think it was the 1960 New York State Fair in Chicago and the murders. I started reading it. And I had to stop. Um, I was having nightmares. Usually that doesn't happen to me because I like true crime. And, you know, I like reading about Jack the Ripper. And, but I don't know. This one just, this one bothered me. So he read his book. Um, and I was basically just in my craft room uh, both days. So it was kind of nice. But once I get in the yard, I'm trying to be in the yard during the week. Um, in the mornings only. And then I come in at noon. Have my lunch and then I head to my craft room. Okay, those are done. All right, now, um, I'm going to tuck a, these I'm not going to fill out. I'll, I'll fill out later. But I'm going to tuck a little writing library card inside each one. And then I'm going to put the top on my ink. Um, I'm going to cut these down to fit in in here. So I'm just going to cut right at the very bottom so this sticks up and I can see. So there, so you have a nice little tag and it tells on the back. I can also put a little date there. Maybe I can put the price. I want to put this up in front. So see that? That's cute. Um, so I have so I have the um, blatant bearded iris. So that's the yellow. And you can obviously see I'm going to need to make more of these because I do want to I want to have each one um, in here. Uh, 
but at least I have these four done. And I think I will, I'm going to wait on the, I think maybe I'll just do all my, that's the same. Uh, that's the day lilies. I'll make the day lily ones later. I'm going to put this one in here, the tiny epic lily. These are little, 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 little lilies. And when I bought them, I thought they were tiger lilies. They look like tiger lilies, but they're a different lily. All right. So there's the four. And then let's get them in my, in my journal and we'll call it a day. But isn't this, this is a really fun little, um, a little project to do. And I think what I might do is when I take photos, I, I'll take some of my photos and I'll, I'll also put photos in here. Um, I want to put these on, this is fussy cut flowers I, I put in. I would like to put these though on a page where I won't be, I won't be writing. So I could put, I could actually, which one would go here nicely? Yellow, maybe this one. And then I could put a photo here and do some writing as well. So this just peels off and I'm going to, I'm going to put it right down here. I'll put it right. I'm just going to put it right in the center here. There. There we go. There's one. Let's see. There's one with the blues and the purples. And then I can write on this side. And if I want to add some washi tape or something to this, I can on, on this side right here. I could put that there and then I could put a photo behind it. You can add a little bit of, I'll probably go back and add a little bit of um, glue or whatever so these stick down a little bit better. And then the last one. use that to write on. Oh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to put this one right here because again, this one is the lilies and then I could take a nice photo and put it on this side. There. So there you have it. It's a cute little project. If you have a gardening journal, it's just something something different. I don't know if you've thought of, you know, doing that. Um, and I think the library pockets and cards are a great way to, to list all of your little items. Um, so there you have it, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Um, happy gardening and get outside. I know it's, it's in my area, it's pollen season and black fly season and it's nasty but um if you pick your time of the day it's it's all good so happy crafting and happy gardening everybody and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye